new this morning on Daybreak. An up-and-coming food trailer in Springfield hopes to provide much more than just meals, but also a second chance for people who are struggling to find shelter or recovering from an addiction. Color 10's Joshua Pineda live in Springfield to explain why this food trailer is so important to those who are working to get their lives back on the right track. Josh, good morning. Jesse, good morning. When Katrin Hurd first received the trailer, she didn't quite know what to do with it, but after giving it some thought, she decided the best way to help people get a fresh start was to offer them a job here at the trailer, but they're not able to open just yet. It does require um, a fire suppression system to pass inspection, so we cannot operate the food tra trailer, you know, in, for the public right now. The fire suppression system cost $4,000 and Heard has set up a GoFundMe to raise the money to purchase the equipment needed to open the food trailer called No Reservations. But she says she feels for people like Christopher Hendon, who has completely changed his life around and is ready to work full time at the trailer. Heard says she has seven other employees and luckily has found other ways to provide them with work in the meantime. Hendon says thanks to Katrin and other programs, he's been able to realize his full potential. I had low self-esteem and no self-confidence and um, having a job helps build that self-confidence and that self-esteem. So, I mean, just that alone, just being able to work and provide for yourself and have something to do with your time because you're not roaming the streets, um, it's, it's helped me dramatically. Katrin says as soon as they're able to raise the funds for the system, you can see the trailer around the Springfield area serving the community, and you can follow them on their Facebook page at No Reservations Food Trailer. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Joshua Pinella, Ozarks First.